black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah, fuck with me. Eat good, live well, stay true. Yo, what is going on, you guys? Back with a mukbang today. To be honest, I was gonna do an ASMR. I was kind of feeling that vibe, and then I just realized, like, on my way home back from this whole thing, I'll explain the story to you, that uh, I was just feeling just ranting, just talking to you guys, and just, just, and that's the thing, like, freestyle, like, I just haven't freestyled a video in so long, I feel like anytime I do a mukbang, it's always, like, a, not the planned story time, but when I tell a story time, like, I kind of, like, have a sequential, like, rundown in my head of what's going to go down, but in this one, I just want to fucking free ball it and just run with what happens. As you can see in front of us, got a couple of weird different mixture of things. And, um, yeah, that, I mean, there's an explanation for it, but, uh, it, it really all starts with the fact that I've been living like a true artist and I've been staying up all night long and I went to the mall early, right when it opened 10 o'clock Eaton Center to beat the rush, get shopped and get out. Uh, and it pretty much worked to my advantage up until when it came down to the point where I was like, I need to get some food for this mukbang. And when I did that, I realized it's lunchtime on a Wednesday, 12 o'clock PM, like food court, a pop in that shit looked like a visa. Like it would people just uns, uns, unsing for their burgers, you know, gyro salads. Cause that's what I got. I went initially for Jimmy the Greek. So let's just highlight that. Jimmy the Greek is the truth. I don't know if you have it where you are, but I love it. Just delicious, like souvlaki, gyro, all that stuff. Rice, potato, Greek salad. And then, of course, it, like it wasn't supposed to happen. Really wasn't. But it did because your boy can't resist the Whopper, first of all. Favorite burg in the game. Also, it's Whopper Wednesday. I walk by... I'm seeing it. Let's just say I saw a whopper opportunity. I seized it. And here we have a whopper with heavy all. I did, however, have to go through some pretty serious trials and trips to get to this because the line was like 30 people deep. And I was just waiting, but I was like, you know what? I'm committed. I'm just going to do it. I'm going to hate my life if I don't. And then, of course, we have a Greek salad here. Um, pretty standard. We all know what, what that is. Um, also, I did a little shopping. I'm going to maybe outfit of the day a little bit. I got a little bit of a couple things that I copped, and I might as well just give you a little show. Uh, I'm not going to go full, like, fashion haul on you and, like, show you like, an, up, an up close of, like, my ankle in my shoe or anything, but I, I got some shoes and whatever. It was just, I needed to do it. It was that time. I'm just going to get everything unwrapped. And ready to ride. Okay, burger. Nice and well constructed. Whoppers looking dope. Got the gyro here, the gyro, or the souvlaki wrap, I should say. Mmm, yes, I'm so excited for this. I love Jimmy the Greek. I'm just gonna do like the half, like a baby blanket. Just to catch all the little food diarrheas that happen out of it. And we got the salad here, all mixed up. Keep that guy out to the side. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, that's very dressing -y. I asked for extra dressing when they really, really hooked it up. But whatevs, I can dig it. All right, lots of tomatoes in this meal. Let's just go full bite for salad. I just love the salad. So good the feta cheese nice and like rich and fatty that dressing a lot of pepper in there of course we got the olives in here as well careful the pits don't snap a tooth the olive pit all right delicious So yeah, like, I've really been living these past few days, like, I don't have work till, I have like four days off, 
and I've been living like the true artist that just like that crazy person life where like you like I've been sleeping all day waking up in the evening and then staying up all night like making love songs and like crying into my microphone and like mixing and making music and like making beats and just putting together these tracks and I've been like up just all night and then like into the day I'll stay up until like I can only make it to like noon and then by noon I'm like crashing actually yesterday I made it to like 3 p.m and I crashed at 3 p.m and I woke up at like 1 or 2 (laughs) a.m it's fucking nuts but whatever like I work at night anyways like it's normal for me to have like a night schedule so it is what it is but uh so yeah, I've been up all night last night since 2 a.m. making music and shit. Where's a chicken at? Way down there. Okay, I got it backwards. All right, Let's see if you guys have a little look at that tzatziki in there and shit. Oh, so good. Should have requested extra tzatziki. I love it saucy, obviously. But yeah, so, and then this morning rolled around. It's now like one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. But um, I thought to myself, I figured... Right, you haven't been out of the house in literally like two or three days. I've just been house like completely house dwelling, doing not going outside for anything. Just being creative. I'm starving, by the way, if you can't tell. So, I mean, you know, all creative. So, I was like, let me run down to the Eaton Center. It's at the point where, like, I've let my wardrobe, like, shoes, uh, pants, everything, just, like, slip to the point that I'm, I'm like... like desperate for some new clothes and like new shoes and new hats and stuff. That was a good Whopper. Oh my God. Cause I'm that dude who just, I, I, I buy like some shit and I wear the shit out of it until it's like brutal. And then, and then I go shopping and then I re up on this stuff, essentially like almost the same clothing, but just in a little bit different, maybe a little, just a little different. Like this hat I got today. Tzatziki by Clot. So yeah, so like, I, I'm just like, I had to go shopping. I just needed to get some stuff. So I was like, let me get in there, get in, get out. Which I did pretty successfully. I mean, it, was, uh, it wasn't that bad of a mission up until the point where I went to go get food. And then it was like, it was literally l- like r- l- uh, lunch rush hour. And like the whole city, like everybody comes from all the buildings and from underneath the ground and all the subterranean humans that work down there and everybody just like into like the, 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 uh, food court and just like into the core of the city. Like everybody's cruising, like everybody is just around. And I was like. Fuck this, let me get out of here. (laughs) 
I hate the downtown core at rush hours, or even in general, really. But you just you could just see that you could spot the tourists too. You can just see the tourists; they're just so obvious. Which is all well and good and great for the city, but you know they're just really not. They just don't know where they're going, which is fine. Like. I'd be the same in their country. I'd be all like, looking around. I don't fucking know. But, they're always just kind of like standing around all googly eyed, like not really knowing where they're going and stuff. So, they cause like a lot of, you know, foot traffic jams and whatnot. Anyways, so, I had... Uh, it was my birthday not too long ago. I don't know if I told you guys that at all, but my birthday was in June. Sloppy whoppy. That's how I like it. And I'd gotten some, like, some checks, some money from, you know, various people in my family for my birthday. And, uh, I hadn't cashed them in or anything, and I decided today I would just go cash them in and use them for shopping. And <laughs> mainly, like, I don't know if there's anybody out there like this, like me, like a weirdo like me, but... There's just something about, like, money that you cash in, like, from, like, a grandparent or whatever. And you, like, you go and buy shit yourself. Excuse me. Like, things for your birthday, like, with this birthday money that your grandma would, like, approve of. <laughs> like, things that she'd want you to do, like, buy yourself some clothes or whatever. I always, like, always make sure that I try to spend that money on something legitimate that she would be like proud of me to spend it on, not like drinking. And partying and shit like that. But I'm sure there's some motherfuckers out there who like get a check from their grandma, cash it in and go buy like a fat bag of weed or some shit. But then again, to be honest, my grandma might not care about drinking so much because she loves to crush, like, she buys those, like, boxed wines, like those white wine boxes. And she crushes, like, some pretty serious glasses of it. The other reason, like one of the other reasons why I went out today is because for the last bunch of days, it's been so like beautiful, sunny, all that shit, like super hot. And to be honest, I'm a fucking weirdo. I just, I hate going out in that shit unless I'm like going to like a beach or a pool or something where I can actually cool off. I hate going out into the world when it's like that hot out. No, thank you. I'll stay in the AC. I'll just chill. Like I'll be in the house. I don't need that shit. I don't need to perspire that much. So it's a fucking overcast, like, hilarious, like, you know, this is my type of day. I love, like, days like today, like a nice, the, the sky is still bright, but it's, like, gray. Maybe, like, a nice London day. And uh, I was like, you know what? Perfect day for me to go out and do my shit. So sloppy. Like incredibly sloppy. But then I got I got halfway there and I realized how humid it was. And so I was already sweating.
it's so saucy, but it's actually so good. But there's nothing that I hate more, like, I hate getting to going shopping. And when I get in there, I'm like, I can feel s sweat beads, like, rolling down my, like, stomach in, like, between my shirt. And, like, just, like, coming down my head. I need, like, a little windshield wiper and shit for my forehead. And I'm just, like, about to go try on clothes, maybe, or whatever. And I'm just, like, ugh, like, completely uncomfortable. It's just, like, the worst. I, f I can't stand it. Um... Yeah, it's just not for me, but I don't know. If there's such thing as like a cold soul, not an old soul, but like a cold soul, I'm that guy. I love air conditioning. I love a lot of ice in my drinks. I would just much rather be cold than hot. Like, hands down, no, no two ways, no question. Okay, well... I was gonna show you some shit. Uh, maybe my hands are pretty clean right now. Uh, anyways, I'm like that, that that type of guy. I only got a few things. I got two hats. So this hat, and I got this hat. Snapback. Nice gray color. To anybody out there wondering where I get my hats, these hats, I always just go to H and M and see. They have like these really like basic, simple like. Maybe like one emblem thing and like whatever. They're pretty nice, good quality. This was 13 bucks. Both of these were 13 bucks. It's like 28 bucks altogether. So just a couple hats real quick. And then <clears throat> I don't know how, how many of you guys like have this happen to you, but like I just, you ever like go into the change room and you and you don't realize how shitty you've let your clothes get until you're in there and putting on like new fresh clothes? Because when I put these on, like I just obviously got just black jeans and uh, whatever, just skinny slim stretch, but they're from Uniqlo, Uniqlo taking over the game because, okay, so these were 50 bucks. They're good quality. I've, I have a pair, like I have a couple pair and I was, I've worn them like to the shit and like they still haven't blown out in the crotch, which most of my pants usually do because I'm a thigh rubber. And uh, uh, th th these last quite a long time. Uniqlo has good quality, 50 bucks for a pair of pants. You're gonna wear them so many times. And the cool thing is they all come in the same length, but like you can say like they'll hem them for you. You just have to give them to them and come back either the next day or like in some hours or some shit. But they hem them for free. It's like included in the in the sale, so that's another reason why Uniqlo is kind of taking over the game. And lastly, I just like I didn't want to spend too much time looking for shoes. I know shoes are like a pretty legit purchase. These were only a hundred bucks, but I like them. I kind of like the color of the green. They are like they just have like a like a sleek, like a nice like narrow toe and like more of a flat. Like I like how it's more flat, like doesn't have like, I don't know, it's not weird, like has some curve or anything like that. They're pretty chill. So these were like a hundred. And that's all I got. And I love, I like really basic stuff in my clothing. Like I really, I hate, like too much color. Hey, I don't really like labels. designs, graphics, shit like that. A little emblem on a hat is fine. Even these shoes, honestly, are a little bit busy for me. Like, this shit, I could do without. Honestly, if it was just these, like this, without this and without this, I'd like them more. But, I looked around at a few places And I was just going to grab a $100 pair somewhere, like, of whatever. And I was, like, looking around, and those were kind of the best option. I just, I like the color. And to be honest, when I put them on, they look doper than when I was, like, holding them. I put them on, they actually look sick, so. I was like, all right. Snag those.
and I'm in such a dilemma right now. Like after this, I just know at some point tonight I'm gonna get tired, like in the mid afternoon or like almost like dinner time, just because I've been up like all night since last night. And I kind of want to try to correct my schedule. And try and push through, but it's so difficult. I might have to go out tonight and do something to try to like, just make sure I push through that like tired. So I'm definitely not the type of person who can just, like, I can't take a nap. I'd be like, like, I could potentially be like, oh, you know, take a nap, hour, or whatever. Get, like, a mini recharge. And then stay up and then go to bed at a proper time, but... Every time I take a nap, it turns into a full blown, full blown sleep. Just how it is. Look at this sauce pile. Oh my god. Granted, I asked them for heavy all. Like I asked for heavy everything, but that's one sauce or one thing BK always does is they sauce the shit out of shit. I can't complain. You guys know I'm a saucy guy. You know? That's it. Oh, yes. Yes. A cold slam of water is the best sometimes. Always picking my teeth and shit. Come on. Where's your manners at? It's a fucking mukbang channel. What do you think's gonna happen? Okay. <laughs> sure you've had enough of that by now. Till the next one. You guys know what it is. Eat good, live well, stay true.